find your way back home Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jake Cameo here and welcome back to another video, another Force of Will video. This is going to be a top five, top five uh, Force of Will waifus. If you don't know what a waifu is, it's basically um, what you are looking for in a female in a certain anime or manga or type of thing like that. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my top five uh, waifus from... Force of Will. So my top five Force of Will waifus. Now we're going to start things off here with number five. Number five is going to be Zero. Now Zero is really cool. Uh, she's really hot. Like all of these characters on here are going to be hot. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. All of these characters are hot. Um, all of these characters are super cool. Um, awesome abilities. Um, really good parts in the story. Uh, everything like that. Just I love, love, love all these characters so much, but number five is Zero. Number five is Zero, the Light Resonator, or Light J Ruler, depending on your card. Um, now on to number four. Number four is going to be Lumia. Now this may surprise some of you because Lumia is a very popular character. Lumia was actually probably number three on my list before um, other people, like she was either two or three before other people uh, decidedly jumped up on my list as I progressed th through the story. So, Lumia used to be higher, but now she is sitting at number four. Now on to my number three. You may not agree with me, you may agree with me, but my number three choice is Lumia, or Narlithotep. Narlithotep is very, very cool. Um, one of the coolest characters in the entire, uh, in the entire story. Um, she has a very big role ever since the very beginning of the story. So Narlithotep has been around since the beginning. She's super cool. She's super awesome. She's very attractive. Um, there's just not enough good things I can say about Narlithotep. Narlithotep was my number one choice until two of the uh, next uh, choices bumped up in my selection. Now on to number two. Number two is going to be a character that is no longer with us. Number two is a character that has hit me very hard. Um, every time I see um, the cards that deal with, with this character's death, I just, I just feel like a piece of my heart flutters away. Because this character, I liked this character before. This character was, would probably have been on my like fifth slot. This character was probably number five on my top five. But this character, with this character's demise, this character has moved up to number two. Because with this character's demise, I it showed me how much I actually cared about this character being around. Um, if this character is no longer around, then, then the story is going to take a huge hit. And it's just, I, I wasn't ready to let go of this character. And this character is Faith Singh. Or Faith Singh, however you say it. I say Faith Singh. But I'm sure other people say Faith Singh, Faith Singh, Faith Singh. But I say Faith Singh. And, number, and Faith Singh is my number two choice. Now, on to number one. Now, if you guys have watched some of my videos, you may be able to guess this already. But my number one choice for top waifu in Force of Will. This is my choice and my choice alone. You guys don't have to agree with me. I understand if you don't. I understand if you do. But my number one choice is Valentina. Valentina is hands down one of the hottest characters in this anime. A anime. It's not, even, it's not an anime. It should be an anime. But it's not an anime, sadly. But uh, in this story, um, Valentina is very hot. She's very de demanding. Her presence, her being, her being uh, in the story at all is just when she appears in parts of the story, she lets her presence be known. She is she is not a character to be taken lightly. She is not a character to be forgotten. She is a character for a reason, and she is uh, she plays major major roles in the story. I don't want to spoil too much, but. She does uh, have a certain ability that lets her uh, sort of not be herself, 
which I think is really, really cool. But uh, I think they're going to progressively bring her back um, to her normal uh, appearance, I, I think. I'm not positive, but if they do, if they don't, that's fine. Um, but Valentina. Valentina is hands down my number one favorite pick. My number one favorite waifu from Force of Will. So who are your favorite waifus? Who are your top five favorite waifus? Who is your number one favorite waifu? Who do you choose above all other waifus? Hey, Dark Alice. I see it. I see you guys in the comments. I see you guys typing Dark Alice right now. I see it. I see it. And that's okay. But who are your favorite waifus? And yeah, so let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, definitely hit that like button. If you're part of the Cameo Core, definitely hit that like button and show me some love. If you're not a part of the Cameo Core and would like to be, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you're automatically a part of the Cameo Core. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys are awesome. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Have a great day. Peace out.